In ARC Research Hub for Sustainable Onshore Lobster Aquaculture, we have a vision, and that vision is to develop aquaculture technology to do larval rearing from the hatchery to the market. The Research Hub will examine two species of lobsters. The first is the tropical lobster or the ornate lobster. This is quite a beautiful lobster species which can grow to quite a large size. The second species the Research Hub will examine is the bay lobster or the slipper lobster. It is a highly prized seafood product and is especially suitable for aquaculture to its short larval duration and rapid growth to market size within 12 months. Our research is organised into five distinct but closely related areas and will draw on a range of expertise. Sustainable onshore aquaculture systems, innovative feed solutions, advanced lobster sea stock transport, novel tools for lobster sea stock quality and industry transformation and sustainability. In the research area of sustainable onshore aquaculture systems, the primary focus will be on intensive onshore recirculation aquaculture systems. We will look at innovative culture vessel design that will promote optimal lobster husbandry, health and water quality. We're investigating new solutions to treating wastewater using ozone and macroalgal techniques. The research is focused at the Institute of Marine and Antarctic Studies in Taruna. We have experts in seaweed culture helping us with some of the research into the remediation of wastewater products from aquaculture production. One of the greatest challenges to lobster aquaculture is the fact that commercial feeds do not exist. With this challenge, however, creates great opportunity. One of the main areas of the research hub is the development of formulated feeds for the slipper and spiny lobsters. Effective and efficient commercial feeds are not only essential to support the health and growth of the lobsters, but are crucial to ensure that farming practices are sustainable and economically efficient. To achieve this, we have developed a holistic approach to examine all aspects of the feeding and nutrient requirements of lobsters, including lobster nutrient requirements, physiology, behaviour, waste mitigation and feed formulations. The formulation is critically important. Not only must it provide appropriate nutrients for growth, but it must also support the health and vitality of the animals. The nutritional requirements of lobsters is unknown and so this is a great challenge for the project. Seed stock are the baby lobsters that are delivered from the hatchery straight after the transformation from larvae into small juvenile lobsters. For effective seed stock transport it will be crucial that we have a thorough understanding of the physiology and health of the baby lobsters. For the development of a lobster aquaculture industry, it is crucial that we're able to effectively and efficiently transport lobster seed stock from hatcheries to grow out facilities throughout Australia and the world. This research will also include the development of innovative transport technologies, including anaesthesia and modified atmospheres. It is essential that industry is supplied with the highest quality seed stock and have the tools to assess the quality of these animals to make sure that they're suitable for farming. The project will develop tools for disease diagnostics, quality assessments and the protecting of breeding gains. In the area of industry transformation and sustainability, we're looking at industry adoption, social acceptability and environmental sustainability of onshore lobster aquaculture. We're looking at facilitating industry transformation and tech transfer that will meet sustainability and community expectations. We have expertise in social science provided through the University College of Arts, Law and Education and the Tasmanian School of Business and Economics. IMAS is providing expertise in environmental impacts. The ARC Research Hub for Sustainable Onshore Lobster Aquaculture is made up of a number of university and commercial industry partners. We have Anatas who are taking the technology that we've developed in the hatchery phase and putting that into practice. Anatas has been running now for three years. We started off by joining forces with the University of Tasmania who have been working with tropical rock lobsters for the last 10 years. 
This is really the holy grail of the aquaculture industry. The, the research that has been developed is something that hasn't been able to be achieved by any other organisation and it's born and bred from Australia. The PFG group are working with us in the development of tank systems for the grow out of both tropical rock lobsters and slipper lobsters. The university partners in this project are the University of Sunshine Coast who are working in the area of genetics for the project and University of Auckland who are looking at work around lobster physiology. 